Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Let's continue east on Mount Hobbs and try to get to Fabul in time, if we can. Now, there is an enemy on the Vista back there, the Gargoyle. If you meet up with it, I would recommend having Edward use Alluring Air or Silencing Verse on it. But I didn't... So, oh well. There's a fixed encounter with it later, which is why I'm not going out of my way to clear it in my bestiary. But here we get some more holy arrows, but we don't need more of them. Because, well, a lot of people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, how do arrows work in this version of the game? You don't have a whole ammunition or supply of them. Well, the reason is because you don't need them that way anymore. Unlike the 2D versions, you no longer need to keep like 100 arrows on you to avoid running out. No. One arrow, you're good. You never need to buy more again. Whoa! Ba bum What's this? Clad like that? That's a monk of Fabul. Whoa. Six on one, that's hardly fair odds. Probably need ten on one to make it fair. Who do you think you are, Chuck Norris? For boss time with Yang! So let's put his new kick command to use. Basically, the way it works is it's a physical attack, but it hits all enemies, and it's really good compared to the 2D version. Yeah, look at that damage. Yeah, Yang is a house. And that's how I'm pronouncing his name. I don't care how the game pronounces it. I'm pronouncing it my way, because I think that's the correct way. But yeah, we'll help you take this bomb out for boss time against the mom bomb now mom bomb is weak to ice and darkness so we want to take advantage of that let's see let's heal up edward there because we're going to want him for the long haul here and this fight is not a pushover like the 2d versions of the game although i suppose i could say that about almost every boss fight in this version really but well we'll see but anyway, yeah, uh, I would not recommend using Darkness with Cecil right now. Let's see, why don't you use Cure on everyone, and you get another Ice Rod in there. But yeah, someone's going to die in this fight at one point or another. And without level grinding, I don't think there's a way around it. So, oh well. But anyway, whoa! Okay, so, oh, okay, yeah, um, unlike the 2D version of the game, she will kill you if you do not defend. Now, I'm having Yang use his new Brace command. Basically, it's the same thing as defend, except it reduces damage by 75% instead of 50%. Once her count gets down to one there, that's when you want to have Edward hide. If you hide when... The count is at more like uh, two or three. Edward might automatically return and die, which would be bad. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Only Rydia died. Excellent. Okay, so now let's have you kick most of those bombs away, and then we'll have Edward return. Oh yeah, the hide command, uh, just like the 2D version of the game, you use it, and Edward basically can't be targeted. So, let's uh, wait a moment here. Let's see what Yang does. Okay, get Edward in there. Let's use Alluring Air on everyone. And, let's see. Yeah, you're going to have to heal up there, Rosa. Damn it! So much for that idea. How did they all gang up on her? Well, at least I got two out of three of the uh, gray bombs there. So, that's okay. But, man, they wailed on her. Maybe I should have had her cast Protect or something. Oh, well. Oh, uh, Yang. <sighs> okay, um, well, I got plenty of Phoenix Downs, so. I wanted Yang to kill that guy before they killed Rosa again, but no! Oh, this fight is going splendid. Um, oh, okay. I was going to say, maybe I should wait until Rosa's turn to, uh, just have her cast raise, but okay, that's this works too. 
Everyone's alive. That's all I care about. Okay. Phew. Man, they kicked my ass. Yeah, you're probably supposed to, like, level grind up to, like, 20 or something. Because I think Rosa learns Shell at that point, And that would make this fight a lot easier. But, oh well. I made it through. We're okay. The game, I think, gets easier from here. Oh. Nuts. Is that a tattoo you got on your arm, or is that a scar? On his left arm. His left, not our left. How does everyone not know this already? This is a JRPG. News is supposed to travel faster than we do. Nuts. I don't think you'd have a hope if they were ready. Well, you were kind of already defen oh, defenseless. What are you going to do against airships dropping bombs from the sky? What, go into a bunker? Actually, that would be a pretty good idea. Especially back then. Explosives weren't quite as powerful. I mean, like, during a medieval era, but they wouldn't have flying machines. They'd have, like, catapults or something. But, whatever. Sounds like a plan. Let's go! With more party members! Yay! Yeah, see that red thing on his left shoulder there? What is that? I, I mean, obviously, it's just, uh, you know, pixelated, so I can't tell, but I well, might as well take a look at the uh, thinking, what we're thinking here. Because we're trying to save the world, Rydia. Do the best we can. Yeah, probably not. They already have. Pretty much, yeah. But, okay, so, let's take a look at our uh, party setup here. Let's see, Rosa. Let's see, I'm gonna... Oh, um, let's see. Ah, there we go. Let's get rid of your iron armlet and give that to Rosa. For now. And, let's see, Cecil is pretty much the same. Rydia is going to be the same. Edward is also going to be the same. So then that leaves Yang. Now, he does come with the Kenpogi, which is really good. So, obviously, we're going to keep him on that. He's got the silver armlet there. And let's see. Okay, we got leather cap. You know what? Actually, I should give that to Rydia. Yeah, that, I have that in my notes. I glossed over it, but yeah. So, okay, we got that. He doesn't have any weapons, though. He only fights bare-fisted, but that's okay. He's a monk. He can handle himself way more powerful than the 2D version of the game. So, anyway, let's uh, use Cure. Let's get another one in there for good measure. And let's take a look at our abilities now that we have Yang in the party there. Okay, Rosa, let's see, you're the same. You're the same. Actually, I think everyone's going to be the same. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, um, Yang also has the Focus Command, and the description there isn't quite accurate either. Uh, let's actually move Kick up a little bit, because I like to use that more often. But yeah, with uh, Focus, I heard it's like the first time you use it, it's like 2.2 times normal damage, and then you use it a second time, and then it's 3.3, and a third time, I think it's like 4.5 or something like that. Uh, so each time you use it, it's more and more and more, but you can only stack it up to three times. So that's something to keep in mind for boss fights, like if they have a nasty counterattack and you want to build up your attack power and unleash it all at once, that would be a good way to go. Uh, let's see, did I get the silver on one? Good. I like that on Yang because he's going to be in the front row now, so he's going to need the help on the defensive end there. So let's continue onward then. Maybe run into another new enemy on the way down. I haven't met too many new enemies around here. Oh yeah, those bombs and gray bombs? You can run into them in random encounters, too. But like you saw there, well, it was in the boss fight, so I figured, why bother fighting them in a random encounter there? 
You can also meet up with my arch nemesis in this area, too. But I wouldn't worry about that right now. They can be encountered elsewhere. I'm not afraid to fight them. No, no, don't get me wrong. If I did find them, I would have shown them, but I didn't. So. Bomb cores. I believe those let you sacrifice yourself for... Yeah, all your HP is converted into damage, which is basically useless. If you know of a use for it, let me know, viewers, but I don't know. So let's uh, save up there. Excellent. And head east. There we go. All right, well, here's two of the new enemies. Or the only two new enemies that I can meet up with now. We got Cockatrices. And Gatling Hogs, who are not nearly as big of a problem. But we can take them out. So let's start with that. There we go. I'm going to have Yang do most of the heavy lifting here. I don't want to risk uh, releasing them from their confusion. Because then they might attack me or something. And that would be bad. Okay, well, now they're not confused anymore. So I might as well go all out. There we go. Easy enough. So yeah, Alluring Air, really useful at this stage of the game. Okay, so let's heal up Edward there, keep everyone up on HP, and let's go. One thing about Gatling Hogs is that if you attack them, with, well, with a physical attack, they can counterattack you, so you want to watch out for that, uh, unless you actually kill them with the attack. There was something else that I learned recently about the 2D version, or well, the Super Nintendo version of the game specifically, and that is that apparently enemies that are supposed to counter physical attacks only actually counter the fight command. Uh, other physical secondary commands like kick, aim, jump, they don't trigger physical counterattacks, oddly enough. I did not know that when I made the last LP. So, but all right, looks like we made it. Everyone seems to be okay. Hey, hey, all right. How did we get here faster than the enemy did? Unless they're already here. No. No, they're not. Everyone kind of say the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Oh, character thoughts. Almost forgot. If only. Well, you can burn them all away now that you know fire, Bridia. You can't. No, not really. Yeah, we're going to be in a world of trouble, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Yep, sorry to say. You guys are in charge now. <laughs> but that's okay. Anyway, okay, so let's head on over here and get some new equipment. Now, if you're short on money, you can skimp on the claws, but I think I have enough money, so I'm going to actually buy some stuff for him. Yang is actually pretty good without claws in this version of the game. But anyway, we got some new armor for Cecil. Why they sell Dark Knight equipment here, I don't know, when it's a castle of monks, but okay. Might as well. So we got all that stuff for you. And let's see, Yang, let's get those claws. One thing about claws in this version of the game is that they actually increase your attack power. But it's not like later claws give you more attack power than earlier claws. They just have some amount of attack power. Probably due to the way damage calculations and such are handled in this version of the game. So, but, all right. Oh, right. I've uh, got to sell the old stuff. Uh, let's see. Got that. 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 Don't need extra arrows there. Holding on to the staff just in case. I'll hold on to the bomb course in case one of you guys leaves a comment and has something insightful to say about it. But anyway, let's uh, head on over to the end. I could use a good rest. Well, there's another place we could rest up, but we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, oh, hey, Naming Way, or Living Way, whatever your name is now. Oh, yeah. How did you get here anyway? Oh, well, good for you. 
recording way, huh? What do you record? Well, events and such, but... Oh. Hmm. No, that's okay, but you can view cutscenes, or oh, cutscenes you've already seen. Already, you can look at them again if you want. Now, the next part of the side quest with the naming way is a bit unclear to me, and maybe you guys can clear this up. Supposedly, he asks, well, he does. He asks for some tents, or whatever. And I always thought you had to give him all your tents in order to proceed with the side quest. So what I always did was I sold all but one of my tents, and then just give him the one. He gives you, like, some money in exchange or whatever. And then rebuy however many tents I think I'll need. But from what someone else was telling me, you don't need to do that. They were saying that you could just say, no, I don't want to give you any tents, and just move on with the side quest, and that's it. With, like, no consequences, if I understood the guy correctly. So... Uh, if you guys know any more details about that, let me know. I mean, I know the guy. I, I trust what he's saying. I don't think he's lying. I just wanted to see if anyone else had any additional information. That's all. But anyway, grab some treasure as long as we're here. Oh, well, don't really need an infirmary right now, but thanks anyway. Okay, how's it go? Sheila? No. Now, in the DS version of the game, they still hadn't given her a name for some reason. So, just Yang's wife, I guess. One thing I do really like about Fabul and how they changed it in the 3D version of the game, they give it more of a, a I don't know what the term uh, term is. Um, I just like the atmosphere for the area, how they changed it, made it look more uh, foreign, I suppose, would be the right word. I didn't want to accidentally use a word that might be offensive. But anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, well, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, I guess everyone else says the same thing. Okay, never mind. Well, thanks. Now watch where you're swinging that ladle, though. Oh, wait, no, that's another game. Never mind. Well, let's head on up to well, the East Tower, I guess. Yep, here we are. Oh, yeah, I suppose we... Well, Yang was, not us. Anyway, I don't think there's any treasure on this floor. Sure, sure, pal. Whatever you say. Okay, how's it going? I'll kick him back into the sky. An army of Krillins! What are you gonna do with them? I mean, that's worse than an army of Raditzes! Anyway, here we get a Bacchus wine because, well, this is the bar. That's what they've got here. So, alright. Okay, how's it going? Sure, why not? I like all the, watching all the pretty girls dance. Whoa! He's a master of disguise! Well, I suppose dancing is an important part of monk training. You gotta develop balance and things like that. I mean, football players have to do that, don't they? Don't... That, that's what I heard, anyway. I, I don't know. American football, I mean, not... You know, soccer. But anyway. Well, that was nice. Anyway, let's see. One last treasure to get here. Alright. Okay, how's it going? Oh. Let's uh, give it a rest ourselves. Sure. Sounds like a plan. So yeah, you get a, well, a free inn here if you want. So there we go. Alright. But can we f fend off an invasion of Fabul? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.